So I'm going to call to the podium now Doug from Conestoga College. He's going to say a few things about Conestoga. And we've got some, some folks, uh, some students from Conestoga here. Can you raise your hands, those students that are here from Conestoga? Yeah, yeah we've got three, four, OK. Actually, let's give the, the Conestoga folks and Doug a round of applause because they're actually taking the first step to, to make things happen. Here you go, Doug. I'm going to pass this off to you. Sorry? First step. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Suresh. Good morning. I guess uh, that was a tough act to follow. I think uh, my, my job here now is actually to, uh, to prove some of these myths that are up there are wrong. And so good morning. My name is Doug Loxton. I am here from uh, Conestoga and Waterloo, our Trades and Apprenticeship uh, Center of Excellence. And I would like to thank uh, the Renovators Contractors Magazine for having us here today. I am the last of the baby boomers. Not the very last one, but uh, getting there. Uh, I have never tweeted. I've never sent a text. I am not on Facebook. And wait for it. Believe it or not, I made it here without GPS. Three lefts and two rights. That's right. <clears throat> and so joining me here today are some of my students from two programs at the college. Uh, one is our renovation technician. These are second year students and also our Women in Skilled Trades, our WIS students. Um, and so they will be here with us today, and uh, we're very grateful and thankful that uh, we were able to bring them down uh, here to this wonderful event. I think it's interesting that over 10 years, I've been doing this now for 10 years, and I love my job, but I have had to adapt as a baby boomer, right? And I do have a millennial. And so it is interesting that we have these perceptions and that out there about, you know, this age group, because that's what it's about. It's about an age group. And what I want to say is that these students, these, these um, potential employees are confident, they're task orientated, and very tech savvy. So please don't let that make you afraid of them, all right? Don't let that fear go out there because they will, as my students constantly do, show me ways of getting things that I could never get to if you work with them. They are also a group who will be joining this workforce. And they also understand that it won't be through a job posting. It'll be through networking, like we all have done, like we are doing here today. And they also know, although this perception may be out there, that they're multitasking. Don't worry about that. If you tell them that that job has to get done, because the painters are coming tomorrow at noon. They'll have it done. You know, they might be here for a moment or two on the way, but they'll have it done. They also understand the gap. The gap, as uh, Suresh has mentioned, and we all are aware of, right? I'm 50. My knee is gone. My back's going, right? I wouldn't last a day out there. So we have them to look forward to. And they understand this, which is why they are going to be one of the most educated group of, of, of adults, possibly, that we have ever seen. They know that that education from learning from us, from being in the trades, from, from going back to college and trade school is going to give them what they need. That is true. They are respectful, sharp, and are willing to learn what it will take to be successful in this industry, which we are all a part of. And as mentioned, there are years of experience within this room here today. And so today, will probably overwhelm them. It's going to overwhelm me with all this knowledge and this, this constant information that's coming their way, new products, 
So it's just a starting, it's a springboard for them. And I would like to send you a challenge. I would like for you to give them an opportunity to shine. Give them an opportunity to continue on with their career path while you continue on with your businesses. And what we will have is a fantastic, amazing industry. Because, believe it or not, we do have to pass the torch. Thank you. Thank you.